Hi everybody, welcome to day 57 of the lockdown. Uh, I really enjoyed my day off yesterday. I had a fantastic bike ride out and there's a quick 20 second uh, clip from a bit of a video I did yesterday. Uh, today it was the kiln opening, it all went very well and um, I'm just going to go through the uh, first impressions and then show you a few of the pots that came out that were really good. Okay, so here's the video. I would take a picture of that and Google it. Not a bad view uh, when you ride out. Brian Peter, my uh, riding buddies. Okay, I've taken the uh, the wicket out and first look at the firing is pretty good. Uh, a bit of an oxidation spot here, one of these here, but it's still really, really warm. This weather now, it's quite hot here in the UK, so uh, I can't touch it yet. It's still sort of a uh, oven hot <laughs> but it'll cool down in an hour and uh, we'll get some out and have a look at them you can see there where I've done the two the two uh, kissing you know uh, you know me's there the Miyotos that's where they are touching there and there's another couple of sets there's one back here and there's one there so we'll have a look at those as they come out but everything else looks okay good reduction most of the way through um, looks okay Okay, I'm just going to start unpacking this kiln now. It's cooled up enough to get in there. Uh, that's turned out quite nice. We've got the first of the meal toes, and they just come apart. That's where those two have kissed. Now, unfortunately, with this one, it's got a little bit of. Um, Oxidation there. So they've come out okay. That's the first two. These are just simple white um, T balls. Really nice, those. run there and dribbled and that's the the wadding just picks off that's a stunner I'm liking this um, uh, this white this white clay that I've uh, wedged a lot of uh, sand into it's speckling very nice Moon jar with a runny glaze with runny ash. Another beauty. Yeah, looking good. Right, get the props out. Just show you the cones at the top. That's cone 11. So you see it's bending. It should be straight up there. So it, when it, this got to this point here, I shut it off, and then the heat work. As, the, as it, like another 24 hours, the heat is held in there, and the heat work just bends that cone 11 and matures all the glazes up. So that's quite a nice cone pack. Right, there's the last of the Miotos. ones there. They're beauties as well. So uh, you're gonna have a difficult choice there mate. Right, okay, uh, just reach in and get one of the there's one of the eager 
vases have come out again, so they've come out nice again. It's just running dribbled a little tiny bit on there. I'm just going to have to grind that off. Really nice ash in the top. Okay, right, I'm going to um, take the rest of this stuff out. Yeah, that's beaded all the way around. It's like a string of pearls. That's quite cute, isn't it? Shelf out now. See, it's solid. Just rock it. it lifts out. Wow. Wow. You're getting to see. What, you're getting to see what I get to see when I first open the kiln. It's just like Christmas morning. Look at those beauties. They're like little Dalmatian puppies, aren't they? Look at those. Wow. These are the the uh, rouletted ones with the white nuka over the top. That's the one I did with the edge of a with the edge of a uh, credit card. This one's not worked so well. I'm quite happy with that one. I don't know what happened with that. It was an idea I had, I think. A bit of an experiment. But you win some, you lose some. I've only put one mini moon jar in. The other's all dried and before I could turn them, unfortunately. But there's the little baby moon jar. That's quite cute, isn't it? So, that's a good shelf. It's a proper, it's a well bent uh, cone 10 there, isn't it? It's cone 10 bordering on cone 11. So, a good shelf. Right. Next shelf out. Oh. Some of these are okay. It's still, it's still split from the rim. Can you see how it's split from? Oh, look at that there. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's uh, it's got its own feet now. That one. No, I don't know why it's splitting away from there. Maybe it's just getting a bit too hot. Maybe a bit too hot. But yeah, they've uh, they've all it's got too hot. They've all run. You see how they've all run off the bottom. That's a shame because that's a beauty, isn't it? Look at that there. You win some, you lose some. It did get particularly hot that part of the kiln. Oh, that's running there. Oh, what a shame. Yeah, proper shame. But, it might grind off that. We'll see, we'll see. Some will come out okay, but I think it's got a bit too hot. Okay, I'm just going to show you this one. This is an absolute beauty. It's not run too much. Nice sagging on the bottom. Very nice. So part of it's got a bit hot, but. Uh, Some of them have come out really nice. Yeah, I think I've got about 
four or five really nice ones out of that. Let's put that on really thick. You saw me putting the putting the thick nuka on. And you can see where it's rippled. But yeah, it's uh, got a bit warm. <laughs> Bless it. But we'll crack it. I'll sort it and put them all a bit at a different, at a cooler part of the kiln. That's a nice one. Right. There's one more shelf after this. And the right, last shelf of my work. The shelf below is some temaku from a friend. And these are the little mouse plates. Well, they've come out nicely. So they've come out okay, little blue mice. Okay, first of all, uh, first impressions, successes and failures. Uh, only one real well, two failures. What that one was an experiment I did. I can't even remember what I did, but it's come out pretty rubbish. So that's going in the bin. Um, Overfiring these red and blue pots, it's, they've run quite badly. So I need to put them in a cooler part because obviously the iron and the uh, cobalt underneath is underneath is fluxing it. But it's got some really nice blue veins and things in it. So that's a that's a positive to take from it. Some beautiful wavy lines in it. That one might grind off, but uh, a few of them have turned out nice, that's a beauty. And these, these nice, just pure white ones have come out really well, so they're nice. Uh, the Miyoto cups have come out, they've, they've dribbled nice, nice and speckled, that's where they were touching. So there's two sets of those. One of them oxidised a little bit. Other successes. There's a little moon jar. The other moon, the other baby moon jars didn't get turned in time. They dried out too quick, so I couldn't turn them. So I'm gonna have to make some more of them. But that came out nice. These little leaded sort of pumpkin pots. They've come out really nice. The larger ones have come out very nice little caddies. <coughs> The rouletted pots have come out well, they've all come out nice. The little spotted moon jar where I, 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 I mixed in a, a, a little bit less iron this time and so they're a little bit more speckled. So they come out okay. Um, the black faceted jars, this is the second, that's like a string of pearls on there, isn't it? They're nice. Oh, nice ego vases with the tears in them. So all in all, I give it uh, an initial score of uh, eight out of ten, maybe eight and a half. I'm gonna spend the morning having a good look at these. Nice, right. Okay, that's it. That's the firing results for today. Right, that's uh, day 57, uh, back at making tomorrow, and tomorrow it's going to be goblets, hopefully, if I can get them to work, so uh, see you tomorrow, bye bye.